friends my name is fani kumar i will be holding this session for the next three talks dr sridhar ayer is not feeling well so he is unable to join us and in his place i will be conducting this session uh, the first speaker is uh, professor subir kumar saha from uh, department of mechanics engineering iit delhi professor saha has completed his b mechanical from ari college now nit durgapur 1983 followed by his masters in IIT Kharagpur 1985 and PhD from McGill University Canada 1991 then he worked with the R&D center of Toshiba Corporation in Japan for about 4 years where he worked on space robotics 1995 he returned to IIT Madras as visiting faculty and later moved to IIT Delhi in 1996 as assistant professor presently he is the Narain Gupta chair professor in the department of mechanical engineering and 2007 he was again in IIT Madras with the new department of engineering design Professor Saha has written several books including a textbook on introduction to robotics whose second edition has been released last week the free software robo analyzer was developed to complement the book he established the SAE IIT Delhi chapter in 1997 robotics club in 2002 mechatronics laboratory in 2001 and contributed significantly to set up the program for autonomous robot robotics in May 2010 Professor Saha has more than 185 research publications in reputed journals and conference proceedings and has delivered more than 160 intimate invited lectures two of professor saha special interests are popularizing the concept of engineering education through the participation in robotics competitions and to convert the engineering problems faced by the rural people of india and the world into research topics uh, we are very happy to have you professor saha here and over to you we will take about 30 minutes for this talk thank you professor fani kumar and uh, good morning to all of you Uh, it's really honor you know to get invitation uh, to the place uh, which i enjoy always keep coming and uh, particularly the honor for you know for this kind of programs so let me start uh, uh, with this title amusing uh, i do not know uh, when uh, the invitation came what title i should give and i started uh, with the philosophy of uh, making some of the experiments uh, like yesterday it was a good learning experience to learn some of the formal way of doing things and probably after i go back uh, some of these informal experiments will get formalized over the time so the contents are the origin like why did i start this experiments then i uh, went back little bit actually whether i'm doing right things or not so i went back with the questions like what is the purpose of education who is teacher and uh, then i analyzed that what are the typical uh, modes of education so we are having it and then of course the experiment and the experiences along with it so the origin was as follows when i when i uh, joined uh, it madras actually rather i wanted to come to this pointer when i wanted to come to teaching so one of the objective i uh, thought of what could be the reason i would come to teaching actually so started teaching career due to possibility of sharing good thoughts quote and quote actually you know you may uh, object uh, your thoughts need not be good one and uh, thoughts with the younger generations because i thought i was working in a company and nobody would listen to my thoughts because they are already plus 30 right so i have to catch them young who are the future architects of again the capital letter developed india as per the abdul kalam statement 2020 vision right So when I started uh, my academic career, of course, this was a very short stint in the IIT Madras. Ten months, I did not understand. I was taking time to settle down. So my first experience with teaching was mechanical design uh, in IIT Delhi, which I studied in my undergraduate poly 15 years ago, and that was the course given to me. So I had a extremely bad feedback on those courses. And when I went to some of my colleagues who are teaching poly thermodynamics or heat transfer, they are actually telling, "Oh, design is a difficult course." Ah, you should not get worried too much. So I thought they are consoling me actually, and I said, "What is the feedback of your course?" Oh, no, it's good. No, they are liking it. So I said, "They are consoling me." So now I have to find out the true reasons, and that led to uh, me this uh, uh, games concept. So three concepts I'll explain: the games, then the second one, the feedback on not studying the mathematical comments uh, contents actually of my book interest. So at one point of my thought, we always look towards west. and even in the colleges the textbooks are uh, the foreign authored books so we thought the knowledge remains there the earliest opportunity we go there in fact i was also victimized for that thing i went for my phd there 
And then I thought we need to give a pride to our students that our teachers can also write good books actually. And we go to IIT professors particularly, oh, Indian book, oh, bad book. In fact, I had the experience with mechanical design. I took one of the good books. I should not probably mention the name of that author, Indian author, but it's a fairly good book in mechanical design. Next year when I was conducting the practical classes, my senior teacher asked the student, where did you get this formula from? Now from that book. And the teacher said, who prescribed that book? No, Professor Saha. Hmm. You should use Shigle, right? So even though the book may not have the reach that level, but I think it is my duty or our duty to comment on those bad quality of the Indian book and to let them rectify or ask them, force them to rectify. What we are talking about, the teaching quality today, same thing. So when I saw they are not learning the mathematical content of it, I think let them then enjoy the physics part of it at least. So that is the time I started developing the software Robotalyzer to make uh, robotics learning more interesting. And the last one actually comes from you know, when I thought of sharing good thought. In the classroom, if I share some good thoughts, which I thought is a good thought, the students thought, huh, he's not teaching actually subject. In design class, he's talking about how the professionalism should be, how honest you should be, how hardworking you should be. Ah, he's no, no longer a, you know, a good teacher. He's trying to avoid probably the content. So I thought of finding out ways to interact with them. And that led me to starting clubs so that you no, know, and the spare times I could talk to them and there the no attendance rule is there. So after doing all those things, so after three, four, or rather five, six years, then I thought of coming back to purpose of education. And actually when I was in IIT Madras in 2007, I attended a course just downstairs in management department. You know, uh, there is a program organized by uh, one of the Ramakrishna Mission Ashram here in Delhi, and uh, not Delhi, in Chennai. So I got, they gave me this full, uh, book free, My India, The Eternal India, and then Sami Bhavikanda writes, what is education? Is it a book learning? No. Is it a diverse knowledge? Not even that. Education is not filling the mind with a lot of facts. So we have been discussing yesterday the whole day. The education which does not help the common mass of people to equip themselves for the struggle for life, which does not bring out the strength. So this is the positive point. Is it worth actually? So that means what I was thinking, okay, it's getting a little bit corrected at the same time strengthening some of the positive point. Who is a teacher? The only true teacher is the, uh, who can immediately come down to the level of the student and transfer his soul to the student's soul and see through the student's eyes and hear through his ears and understand through his mind. And of course, one foreign course, I've been told by somebody which I didn't know uh, after even starting five years of my I mean, academic career, the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. There is a little quote in this pamphlet of the TLC also. It's just put it in the other side from the student's perspective. That was also quite interesting. So then <coughs> I started observing that what we are doing. We have been doing this blackboard teaching, I don't know how many years, maybe 100 years or more, or maybe. Good for students, I felt, as they get sufficient time to grasp the topic. While that you know, teacher is writing, he gets some time, of course, assuming that he or she came for the purpose of learning. At least they can write down the points using his her own hand, some insight to the subject, which I remember my college, even though I didn't understand the, what design is going on, but I would write down. And before, so one week before the exam, I'll try to recollect this thing. But later on, transparencies came. Transparencies are the overheads a new tool to the teacher to prepare the complex diagram equation. Very convenient, right? You can put this. Students were still sitting on the other side you now without any new tools for learning. So it's a teacher who got one new tool, right? And the teacher, he's getting import again. Now LCD projectors with PDF or PPT versions, teacher got another new tool. No new tool to the students except the mobile, okay? Well, now they can take pictures actually. It's even worse now. Actually. He or she thinks, I'll take the pictures of the, what teacher is doing it, right? And I will understand later, assuming the teacher will not provide the lecture note. But these days, we are all open, right? So we said, OK, you do whatever you like to. If you don't understand, who cares? Many times, we feel when we get really irritated, actually. And performance certainly degrade. Because just before the exam, this PDF and whatever mobiles doesn't help, actually, OK? So then I thought it needs a change. Just like uh, the, the IS officer has told, right, you have to make the classroom, uh, the library entertaining. 
So I thought, can I make classroom entertaining? So then my daughter was in class one or maybe under uh, the preparatory nursery and all those things. So I thought, how she is getting interested in some of the activity in the school? So that bring me to the concept of the games. And yesterday I learned probably it could have been done on a more continuous basis, but otherwise I was experimenting once during a semester, one of the practical hours or tutorial hours I was spending to do this thing. And let me demonstrate these games. So three games I uh, play, uh, what is the word games, uh, the jigsaw puzzle or the dump shutter. And during the dump shutter, I'll request if I can get a three volunteers actually, you know, please uh, keep prepare your mind, you know, and it will be fun in my opinion. So let's demonstrate with the games. So the game, the first game, uh, the rules are set, you know, 30 seconds to respond. So that I had to do, first I was doing one minute and things getting boring, so 30 minutes two in a team, two points for the correct answer, uh, the clue is actually the lecture, okay. So today's dumb shards will be the clue is this TLC seminar and other team, if you cannot tell the right answer, it will be the one bonus point for the other team. So first what I am touching with teaching, let us play one or two words, so suppose this is one team, this is one team, this is one team. So I start with the teaching, so he has to say some word with a G which is related to this seminar, okay. And if he can say that in 30 seconds, he gets two points. Otherwise, they get a chance. If they can say it correctly, they get one point. So, said G, something related to this course in 30 seconds time. Groups. Groups, very good. So, he gets a two points. So, groups, so S, students. students. So, that is the way it continues, right. So, so it spends about 20 minutes doing this thing in the classroom of about 30. Then the jigsaw puzzle. So, this is a jigsaw puzzle not from this uh, seminar though, it, I just picked up ready made from my design code. So, things are jumbled for those who are mechanical engineering background or, so what I am writing is M, uh, here uh, PPT presentation mode will not work. So, I have to go back to break this uh, uh, thing and I have to play with it. Uh, so, I will do it from here. So, M stands for module, module is uh, defined by so, the D, the diameter divided by the number of teeth of a gear. So, here is a clue, M equal to D, you have clue, division is there. So, something will come at the bottom. So, some clue I have to give, otherwise people will, the students will lose interest. So, the students have to do, earlier I used to do with the transparency, so it was much easy. So, now uh, what the student has to do uh, is to bring here and bring here. So, this is one and then you have uh, the gear ratio GR is equal to number of teeth in a gear divided by number of teeth in a pinion. So this is the thing uh, the, the two students have to do together in about 30 seconds time, okay. <coughs> so then, then come dumb shares, most humorous part actually and I have tested with a set of engineers, CSI engineer, I have been invited once to uh, Ghaziabad. So I, I did it in the open field that time. So, two or three in a team, even four could be okay. Uh, one to act, others to respond. And 45 seconds to act and respond. And clue is the lecture, today is the teaching learning. And no bonus points, okay. So, can I get uh, three volunteers? Even, uh, let's say, even uh, two should do the job for me actually, okay. One will be really difficult. We need three, one I can play. Uh, as a part of that thing, okay. Anybody? Come, come. It's not, it's not difficult, okay. Okay, one at least. Sir, you come, you are in my hotel. <laughs> so, of course, I have also. I am catching my hotel connection. <laughs> so, you stand here. I will make your life easy. In fact, you can, uh, you can yeah, you can hear, okay. And, uh, okay. So, uh, no, you, you do not face it because the word will come there, okay. And thanks. Okay. So, uh, so I will do the acting part, okay. So, as I said, to make the life simple and uh, the, this, okay. So, I see the word, okay. So, I get 45 seconds. So, I have, you have to uh, uh, prompt me for different, uh, I mean, I would do the acting and, okay, let's start. You can take the time for me, huh, 45 seconds. 
two words. First word, running, jogging, acting, second word, turning the pages, book, notes, lecture, oh, billboard, Reading, referring, <laughs> reading, reading, reading. What else? Okay. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> you can see that thing. <laughs> no? Active learning. Because the clue. Maybe I was not a good actor. So the clue is this. Uh, the content no, of this. It okay? was easy. It was thank easy you. Only. Thank you. Thank you very much. But it was. Uh, easy. Thank you. Okay. So that's the way uh, it, it continues. But uh, for today, I just uh, made. Uh, Three here uh, just to demonstrate. So one I created active learning, the word, and uh, so we could have continued if the time uh, would have a little longer. So think pair share. I prepared another one, and so sometimes uh, it's really challenging if I say uh, Newton's second law, for example, okay, or uh, Lagrangian principle, right? So to explain who is Lagrangian. So that is the innovativeness I wanted to see that how they go down. Sometimes they go alphabet wise also actually, right? So, so that is the creations there and they have to correlate uh, with this uh, subject. That is another uh, I'm teasing, uh, the brain teasing actually activity there, okay? Okay. So the, the next part comes the software part. So this is the book and uh, these kind of equations appear. I mean for those who are doing seriously, uh, not difficult, but then for them, they think, ah, oh, let us skip. So, first four chapter of the book, which is more descriptive in nature, because when I go to different colleges and they may say very proudly, sir, I, we are using your book. I said, okay, what are the chapters you studied? So, there is the first four chapter that tells basically, you know, types of robots and the sensors, actuator. I said, did you study transformations, homogeneous transform? Hmm, sir, this is uh, not so, uh, so easy. My teacher is not able to explain and teacher will say the students are not interested. Okay? So then I say, okay, let us understand the, what is the meaning of the kinematics, forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. And I would like to teach you in 30 seconds time, even though you may not have any robotics background. So if I say this is a robot arm, that's like a human arm. So this is rotating like this thing, this is rotating like this. Okay? So if I give a motion here, say, 30 degree here and 45 degree here, I would like to know where is my, this end point goes, my, the, the fist goes, right? So I have a set of definition numbers which automatically comes and you just say 30 degree, 0 degree to 30 degree, you spend it here and here you want to go 45 degree, the second one and I just click this button and I just do this simulation. So this is the way your fist will move, okay? So this we call it forward kinematics, I give the forward motion and it goes. I want to teach you inverse kinematics, I click another button called inverse kinematics. So now I have posed the reverse questions. If I want to move here, what are the different ways you can move it actually, okay? So I click the button inverse kinematics, it tells me you can go two ways, okay? What are the two ways? So you say show me first way. So this is the first way and this is the second way, okay? So first way and the second way and then you say, no, no, you show me how to go from first way to second way. So I did it and then I say, so, so there is two solutions exist actually. So without talking about any uh, uh, second order equations or the, the, the two roots exist, I could still explain the concept of what the multi-solution means actually, okay. And after that, if they have a question, sir, how did you do it? Oh, that is a trick. How did you do it? Ah, now you come to me, sit down with me. Do you understand this A means, B means, matrix means, multiplication means? Ah, well, this time you have to understand a little bit, okay? So then that comes to the last concept actually, rugby. As I told you at the beginning, when I was talking about in the class about to be honest, to be professionalism and all those things. So I started the club, the first club I started AC club and AC club after five years some student wanted to get into 
robotics activity. So then I say two clubs will be very difficult for me to handle. And that is another statement by Swami Vivekananda is also there. If you wanted to excel in one, excel in something, you should stick to it actually for long, long years with your heart and soul actually. Okay? So that point I realized, you know, I, I have to choose one. So I decided to go with robotics because my training was in robotics. Then I was doing it. After some years, I realized what is the point of only sending the students to a competition, which is held in uh, Pune every year. It's called Robocon competition. What I am gaining and what are they gaining? So then these are the, uh, some facts which I realized. In technology, only 10 to 25 percent of 5,50,000 from 3,500 colleges are employable. So this is a NASCOM report actually. Okay. So what rugby can do, the robotics competition based education engineering, when we do projects actually, many times the projects are theoretically conceived. I give something to the student, the students say something, they do something, then it works for probably half an hour. They will take the video shots during the VTEC Viva, they will show this is the thing it is working and you ask them show me, demonstrate now, ah sir that circuit has broken, this is broken or maybe it may run for one second, one minute, they took the video like this thing and they shot and claiming I should be deserving A grade. But making and working is not the final goal only, it has to be reliable, repeatable, you know, all these positive points should be there. And first thing is what to do actually, many times you think, Oh, in America, I see NASA has done very nice lunar rover. I will create a lunar rover without understanding that how difficult, how easy it is, how many years they took it. So here, competition actually gives a problem. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the problem as a student. Then, once the problem is defined, first I have to generate the idea. Then I have to design it. I have to manufacture it. I have to program and control it. I have to debug it if it is not working properly. Then I have to even my Robots may not have done it perfectly. Even the perfectly made robots will not win all the time. Japan is not the winner in all these competitions. Okay? It is a China and some other countries are winner in most of the competitions. This is Asia Pacific region competition I am talking about. So the strategy is also very important. Then of course man, manage the money because there are about 20, 25 students work together. Teamwork which industry wants actually. So in a set of activity which I will show you a video shot how enthusiastic the students are, in a fun activity, you know, they learn all those things in one go. And that's the industrial scenario in my opinion. So this is a screen, uh, video from 2013 video uh, in Robocon National, which is shown by Dirodarshan, taken from Pune. So this is one team, this is another team. So whole these things are made by the students actually. I think this is a Nirma movie and other maybe MIT uh, Pune. So these tasks are known about eight months in advance. So anyway, this will take a little longer. I'll stop. So that was 2013 and 2014. And as I told you, six to eight months in advance, game plans are known. So this is the way game plans are provided to the students through website. So some animations will be created to the students. Uh, in this year competition, the theme is you know, saluting to the parenthood, right? A parent robot has to carry a child robot and then activity starts, I'll jump. So game plans, the rules, everything in detail is given to the students. So this is the kind of animation they will create. So this is assumed as a parent robot carrying a child robot taking to the park, the swing. Okay. Okay. So I'll stop this video here. So similarly, 2007 onwards, uh, 2007 we had a champion. I think item address was champion 2009 or 10. So what I could impart through this activity, because initially I was leaving it to the students fully actually and then realize ultimately they are not able to organize themselves. So now I make a point, every week I go uh, spend about half an hour to one hour, you know, interact with them. So I could, uh, I try to enforce proper planning prevents poor performance, it's a management concept, the five P's, maintaining project diary, you know, so that things are recorded, follow a Gantt chart, teamwork, mechanical, electrical, computer science 
and through this dedication, sincerity, honesty, positive thinking, whatever I could enforce and I say this is, there is no attendance rule here, you do not have to come okay, if you are not liking it, but if you are liking it, this is my Edina now. No, I am the boss here, you have to listen to the boss. If you do not like this boss, leave this club, you know, go elsewhere. There are 100 clubs existing in the club, in the institute, you can join there. Okay. Then I realized how to take it further because even they are making it, many times you know, they go to the workshop, get it done, lot of engineering things are not imparted in their design. So later on if they come for a BTEC final year projects, I give them the projects, some of them got best awards. I created some Excel programs which can be used by anybody now. We put it in the website. For example, how to select a gripper, right? some Excel based calculations. And one I will show, this is one of my dream uh, in next one year or so, is one of the robots should be playing in our student activity center 24 hours. You know, it will be entertaining for the whole campus. And this year uh, the BTEC students have made it. I will just show you the video. So there will be a switch, in this case it is a light sensitive uh, switch is, is there. It will just trace a line and do some simple task. So this is uh, in front of a robotics club in our student activity center. So it will just uh, dump the box in the dustbin. So idea will be there will be some switch, students will come and punch it. Uh, in the earlier version, they had some small quiz. If they reply it correctly, then it will be on, otherwise we will say sorry, try again, the second quiz will come. And I had a lot of difficulty to continue with those robots, so now finally uh, this robot has come up. And this summer, uh, two, three students are working to put it in a box so that it is secure. And this will be the charging stations actually, so that battery gets charged automatically. And the furthest dream is to put in front of the director's uh, office and to welcome the guests who are coming. Okay. So to put forward my thoughts, uh, now, uh, we uh, brought out a book actually. Uh, so one, I will give it to uh, this TLC library, but before that participants can see. You know, at the end of my lecture, I will hand over to the organizer. So in this book, actually I got the idea from five point someone because author is also IIT student, IIT Delhi student. So here we have a story is like Abhijit is a boy who was not understanding you know, what has been told in the classroom and this teacher is scolding him actually because he was dreaming that he is winning Robocon. Right? And the same guy after three months you now able to answer that what is the meaning of a gear and things like that. And then the students friends are asking how could you do it? He said oh, when I was making things with my own hand, I could do it. In the meantime his girlfriend is calling, where is Abhijit please come we have to go for dinner and Abhijit is not picking up his mobile phone. And then the, the girlfriend when they met, right, the girlfriend is telling, you know, teasing him actually, the robot is now a better girlfriend for you, you know. So in the, in the life of the students, you know, this story has been evolved. So what, what in effect, because this IS officer told the teachers they listen, actually they do not listen to the teachers either, they listen to the seniors actually, okay. That is my observation, I think many of you may agree with me. So I have to get things from the seniors mouth. So here is some seniors have uh, sent me email I have put forward. So one is Abhijit Rathod, he graduated from 11, he works for ISRO now. He told me the things you taught us about professionalism and being a good engineer are making much more sense now. That means he did not understand that point of time. <laughs> and I find myself not entirely uh, new to this concept thanks to you. All the things that you tried to inculcate in the robotics club as well as in us are easily visible in every good engineer here. And hence, I find myself a step ahead that other new recruits in that, okay. And the second in an academics background, he went for masters. Then we sing Sethi, again the same batch, University of Michigan, USA. I had been planning to write a long email to you as well about my experiences here at Michigan, how the experiences has been, how the robotics class helped me develop skills that are very useful elsewhere as well, okay. So with this, uh, I stop and I left some time for discussion. I think uh, I finished well before time, right? Two minutes, Two minutes left. So good time for time. Thank you very much.
Saha will take few questions. Yes. Uh, any question, <laughs> it is a kind of uh, compliment, it is really amusing. Thank you. Fits uh, very well to the title. So, I, I really see passion uh, in Dr. Saha as teacher and it is that passion which will, uh, I mean more than uh, getting information elsewhere, that passion contributes to new things Thank in you. teaching learning paradigm. So, I, I, I have great appreciation for that passion in Dr. Saha. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Two thousand thirteen participated. No, no, no. The number people the number of people who participated in the robo class. Robo for my IIT about twenty to twenty five students, they take part in the competition. So they are mechanical engineering students. No, or? mechanical, electrical, computer science, engineering. Anybody physics. in fact. Anybody in fact. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Yes. Uh, how many such uh, activities would you do in a semester? Uh, well, actually, I revolve all around this Robocon. Our, pro, our activity will start the day they join. The July end, the students come. So, our second year student, actually, here I am trying to uh, make our senior students as the teachers. So, all the second year students, as well as so called, there is no official ragging actually, but after that period is over, okay. And so, then they will have a, a seminar uh, for one hour where I speak, speak for about 20 minutes. Then they have a workshops. So where about 100 to 200 students take part. After that, when they uh, settle down a little bit, uh, we give some web-based information collection activity. So after about a month, they will recruit them actually. So there are about 20, 30 students will come. Out of 20, 30 students, so we select three or four uh, competitions: IIT probably Bombay, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur. So there will be six students each will be taking part, and there will be senior second year or third year student will be mentoring them actually. So as soon as this activity is completed by March, April, the summer comes. So now summer they are working now to preparing for the Robocon because Robocon game plan will be out in August. So what they are doing it is last year Robocon robot, they are dismantling it, mantling it, trying to understand. Last Saturday I was there. Now I said every Saturday there will be a meeting and they have to present that what they learned in last one. So about 30 students are working. So that way it goes all over the year actually. And at the end, they have to give me uh, the report, which would be valuable document for the next year. So report part, even though I am quite strict, if I feel, but it's a challenge. I will tell you. Okay. So uh, before you uh, finish it, so I want to hand over to to the organizer, Prashad. Uh, so you can share with these people sure, sure. today, you. and then keep it in the library. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Saha. Uh -huh.